morning one and all. We're here at Gas Tracks in Pembina, North Dakota. Canada is one mile that way. We got stuck here last night because our paperwork didn't go through. Uh, something with the uh, customs broker uh, got messed up. The paperwork got messed up. They had everything they needed. I didn't need to send in anything more. But those of you who cross the border often know that this happens from time to time. Kind of frustrating because I was hoping to be waking up at our yard this morning. But uh, here we are. We're clear now to cross. So let's get this load back to our yard and let's get ourselves home. Well, we're in a different yard now. We're in our yard. It's a nice truck over there. Look at that. Oh, so <laughs> I would say we got here pretty quick, but man, it, it delay after delay today. So we uh, had an hour long lineup at the border. Is the border on strike or something? Because there was only one window open and there was a lineup over a mile long. One out of three windows open to get across the border. And when I got to the window, finally, the guy was wearing a little pin saying something like, I'm on strike, something, something. Are they, are they on strike? Well, anyway, so that delayed me. And then I got across the border finally. I'm like, yay, now I can hammer down. Just got to get through this scale and then I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 not today, not today. No, they pulled me in. I was rolling over the scale, I had my window down so I could hear if they talked to me, and sure enough, and a little speaker pops up and says, Hey, driver, pull off to the side, bring in your paperwork. <sighs> so I went over the scale, pulled off to the side, brought in all my paperwork, and takes a look at all my paperwork. Of course, everything is, you know, up to par. Everything is where it should be. Everything looks good. That's all good. Looks at my driver's license, looks at everything. And then he comes, brings me my paperwork back. And I'm like, okay, good. He was just checking that. Check my log book, my e-log. And he's like, all right. And he picks up his wheel chocks. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know what that means. So he's like, all right, let's go outside. Let's do an inspection. So he goes, chocks the wheels after release the brakes. And then uh, we did a... Uh, a walk around inspection. It actually wasn't like a full full on level one inspection or anything. He did a walk around with me So I didn't get a sticker out of it for my window I did get a piece of paper though that I got to hand into work and I passed so they check for air leaks They check for tires uh, the tire wear make sure you got good tires on your truck They check all your lights uh, They check to make sure your air pressure is building up that the blow-off valve works properly that when the compressor when the air tanks are full the compressor turns off I looks at like all your gauges, make sure that everything looks good. Obviously look at my logbook too. And does a walk around on the truck. Checks my load securement, checks uh, uh, brakes and stuff like that. And then I passed with flying colors, 100%. So that really slowed me down, but it did feel really good to be able to bring that report and that piece of paper to work and put it down and be like, got inspected, I passed. So that, that felt good. Anyways, we're uh, dropping our trailer now and grabbing my next load. But I'm not leaving with it until Monday, so we'll, we'll save that until then. So I've already got my uh, tarps. Can't talk right now. Got my tarps on there. Got the trailer here. It's empty. I'm gonna leave it here. Now what I'm gonna do is my next load is in the yard already. Uh, I leave with it in a few days. It's Friday today. I'll leave with it on Monday. I'm going to go hook onto it now and do a full pre-trip inspection on it. Just so that I know that on Monday when I come and hook up, everything's good to go already. I don't want to run into problems on Monday because Monday's Victoria Day. It's a holiday when I'm on this coming Monday. And uh, if I have any problems with my trailer, it's going to take a really long time to get it fixed. I might not get out. So I may as well find any problems that might be there today. And uh, then we're ready, right? Just a little bit prepared, just just extra prepared. I don't want to show up on Monday and have problems. We've got a long ways in front of us tomorrow, next week. Have you guys figured out where we're going yet? I haven't told you, haven't told you, but I'm letting you guys try and guess down below in the comment section. We're going somewhere in North America, obviously, that I haven't been before. 
I've been to a lot of places. Some people say I might, some people might say I have been everywhere. Not everywhere. There's one place that I haven't been to yet on this continent. And we're going there next week. I'll leave on Monday. Where do you think it's gonna be? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you follow me on Facebook or even X, mostly Facebook, that's where I'm most active off of YouTube. If you follow me there, I might be dropping some hints. So go down below this video to my description, scroll down to where it shows my Facebook page, click the link, go there and follow my Facebook page. Because I often post things sooner there as they're happening. Whereas on YouTube, I have to film them first and then I have to put them together, edit them, and then upload them and release them to you. It's a much longer process. If you want to keep up a little bit faster, go to Facebook. <coughs> you can find me there. I think it's at Official Trucker Josh. Like Facebook.com slash Official Trucker Josh. You should be able to find me there. Or you can just Google it. Google Trucker Josh Facebook. You'll see me there. My same profile picture is on all my accounts. So just make sure it's my account. You want to be sure, because there are fake ones out there that try to scam you. Don't fall for scams, okay? You want to know my official social media platforms? Down below every single video, that's where you can find me on every platform. I don't have a Telegram. I don't have any WhatsApp. I don't have a public WhatsApp. So if, if there's somewhere where I want you to find me on the internet, it'll be down below. You want to follow the Facebook page. All right, so I'm Bob Talon. I just did the pre-trip on my uh, my next load. It's already waiting here, like I was saying. And it's all good to go. Tires are filled with premium air. They've got good tread. Safety is good. Lights all work. Signals all work. Brake, brake lights work. There's no air leaks. And we are set and ready to go on that load. Oh, why am I going through here? Oh, oh, this way's bumpy. Bumpy, bumpy. So what I'm going, where I'm going now is KK Penner in Blumen North. That's my tire center. Uh, that's where I go. I'm going to get my steer tires flipped. That side to that side. I was talking about this yesterday, right? And get them to wear evenly. And then I go to my shop. It shouldn't take very long to get my tires rotated. They were actually expecting me there this morning. I made an appointment for 10 a.m., but then we got delayed at the border because our quarter clearance didn't clear. And then we got delayed at the border because they might be on strike. I don't know, but they only had one window open with a mile-long lineup, so that took an hour. And then we got inspected. So now my appointment's been moved to 2 o'clock. Good thing they weren't very busy today, and uh, they said, yeah, no problem, Josh, bring it on in. It won't take long, you just gotta take the wheels off, swap them, like, they're gonna stay on the rim and everything, just switch them over. settled a little bit and then come back here in probably about a half hour or so and uh, get them retorqued because I'm not gonna have a chance to get them retorqued before I leave I'm leaving on Victoria Day which is the holiday everything's closed and uh, this is just may as well take care of it now and get it over with right so what happens when you uh, put new tires on a truck or when you take the take the wheels off and you put them back on you need to get those wheels retorqued when they settle into place that could loosen the bolts, or the nuts, sorry, loosen the nuts, and uh, in a worst case scenario, a tire could go flying off. And it would not be good. We try to avoid those situations if we can, where we can. So to avoid me losing any tires and having them fly into someone's windshield, I take it for about, uh, oh, 50 to 100 kilometers, somewhere in there, 
get the tires to settle in and come back here and check just to make sure they're all still tight pretty much so I'm going to take a rip towards St. Anne Steinbeck is off to our right St. Anne is off to our left leaving Blumenor also gives me a chance to make sure that everything is still running smoothly and if there's any shaking or anything involved in my drive now I know that my tires might need to be rebalanced but that shouldn't be the case So you want to see my project for this weekend? You want to see it? You ready for it? Brace yourself. <laughs> uh, so we got to get the camper back in here and I'm going to be putting it all the way to the back over here. Right against the wall so that we can still walk around the other side, right? Leaving all the space in front of it open. Well, for like tables and work stuff, tools and stuff. I can't go all the way back there because the uh, floor heat boiler is there, right? That's why I have that table back there. It's so full. So I got to get that mower, uh, zero point mower to our house. Or I might leave it here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be selling that zero point term more. Might just leave it here then. We don't need it at our house and we're never gonna have a big yard again. So uh, anyone want a pretty much brand new Cub Cadet zero point turn more? Email me truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. If you're in Southeast Manitoba, you can come get it. Give you a good deal. It's brand new, hardly been used. I love it, I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna sell it. You can't, yeah, you can have it. I guess so. I want to tell you, you can't have it as mine, but it's just going to sit in my shop. We're not going to use it. So we're selling that. The quad behind there, I just need to do some work on it still. We'll get that up and running. I still want to keep that one still. But that's my project. Not selling the mower. That won't be for this weekend, but getting all that stuff out, putting the trailer back in here on this side, leaving this side open here for old blue. Got to clean the floor, floor is filthy. I'm getting anxiety just sitting in here with all this mess. So uh, maybe we'll start tonight. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Maybe we'll do it Sunday. I think we have plans tomorrow, so I might have to come here on Sunday. But anyway, it's time to go home. You'll be good right here. Right up low. You'll be good here, right? Oh, look, you're all full of bugs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we'll take care of that. We'll give you a good bull snot treatment. <laughs>